Welcome back everybody. Main Fly Guys here with another tutorial continuing the duck trend. We are looking at a wet fly now. What you're going to need is any feather that you like for a tail. And I particularly like the shoulder feathers, if I could get one, from a wood duck. They're this brownish tint there, see that? A little white. I particularly like those for tails. I'm going to put a small tail on this. So I'm going to add a small tail. I'm using red thread. I have no idea what size it is. but um, And then what I'm going to do is go in with my CDC feather, if I could find it. There it is. Boom. I'm just going to tie in the tip of it. And then I'll work forward. To about two eye lengths behind. And now I'm going to take some hackle pliers. Because this stuff is very difficult to grab. I'm going to grab it. And I'm just going to start wrapping. So this is a CDC body. And you'll see in a second. I chose red because I want the red to show through. Again, a lot of this will be covered up um, by the CDC, but I like the red. Uh, can we get one more turn out of that? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that ain't bad. All right, so we catch it there. We have a little tip. And just trim off that tag in. And so now we have all this fluff, and what I'm going to do is cut it really close. I'm going to cut all of it off very, very close. Just so that it's... So basically, since this is an e... Sorry for turning it on you. Since this is an emerging insect, I want it to be pretty messy. Because this is imitating like a shuck. Like this insect is about to come out of whatever this is. And so I want it to be messy because if you've ever seen a shuck, it's almost transparent and it is very messy. Now we have a bunch of room. So here's our body, nice and fuzzy. I love, oh man, I love that. If you want to change up the look, change the color of the thread, don't change the body, I'm telling you. You will not regret it. Um, all right, so now I am going to go to the base of any feather that has this kind of fluff on it. So if you can find this kind of fluff, right, kind of like the down feathers, so to speak. If you can find the down feathers because they make a great dubbing. So I'm just going to make a little dubbing there. And what I'm going to do is make a ball. Just like so. Alright. Now, you can choose to keep it like that, or you can brush it out. I frequently like to brush it out, because it creates even a bu even buggier body. And it also gets rid of those kind of loose fibers. Alright, how are we doing there? That looks great, see? So very buggy now. And then... I get a couple long fibers here I don't like, so I'm going to get rid of them. All right. Now, I'm going to go to a wing. All right. And I'm going to take from, if you want color, go with the colorful part. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a wing here. And I'm going to take one of the primary feathers, say from right around here. Like All right. All right, so I have my two wings. I'm not too worried about pairing them like perfectly. Uh, it's not a salmon fly. So there's my little wing, right? And so I'm going to try and catch that. And I'll tell you why I'm not, that was not good, why I'm not too worried about how it looks. Like that's fine. That's going to be a, just fine because... I'm going to come in and basically cover it up. So I'm going to work right back to it. Try to get it down a little bit more. 
See that? Like I just want a little wing there. That's it. And then I'm going to go to the shoulder. So there's the tip of the wing. I'm going to work up and go to the shoulder and grab one of these feathers. So this one looks appropriate. All right. These feathers have really short fibers. See how short they are? But they're also really dense at the same time. Most shoulder feathers, I don't know if I said this last time, but most shoulder feathers of most birds are very short fibered and dense. They make great wet flies. So there's my feather. I'm going to tie in the tip of the feather once, maybe twice. Trim my excess. And then use my hackle pliers to do hopefully two, maybe three wraps. And this, you're gonna work your fibers back as you go. Palmer them, as they would say. They'll kind of do this on their own if you lay the feather in the same orientation as I did. Oops. But, you know. So there's one wrap. Work forward. Two wraps. Eh, kind of two and a half there, I guess. And then I'm going to catch once, twice, pull everything back. Tie it once out front, trim it, and then I am a done. Look at that. And I mean that, I mean, come on, that's beautiful. So now I'll make my head, if I don't mess it up, once, twice, three times, come back, and there we have it. You can make the head look pretty if you want with, uh, you know, whatever, but I mean that, look at that. That's a, that is, whew, boy, that's a killer. If you're not fishing a fly like this, you're probably missing out on a lot of fish um, because it's a great pattern and one that I have a lot of success with. I mean, just it's because of that extra wing up top, it just looks very full and, uh, and yeah, it's a great pattern. So there's our wet fly with a duck. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please follow us along on Instagram or subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out every video. Um, but we hope you enjoyed this one and we hope to see you on the next one, which is the dry fly from a duck. <laughs> we'll see you then.